Volcord's backup feature will back up more options in your Discord server than all the other major backup bots. First, I'm going to show you how to create a backup, but after we'll look at scheduling a backup to run automatically in the background with a set frequency in days. So click create backup, click the button to connect to discord, click authorize, and then click this link to close the window, or you can click the X button. Now choose the server you want to save in the backup. If you don't see your server in here, invite your account to the server as administrator full admin and then click the refresh button so these options right here is what the scheduled automatic backups do by default so you'll notice that the individual member roles and the saving files that stuff takes a little longer and is a little more expensive so you'll have to manually create a backup if you want to include those things. The automatic backup will not include those options. Now click create backup. Look at the Discord pop-up. It's possible it shows in another tab too, so check your browser tabs. Click the continue button and then click authorize. Now click the red X button at the top corner of the window or tab. Good, the backup is complete. I'll click view backups. You can also check your email and as long as you have the backup setting on in this settings, which is on by default, it will tell you the number of channels and every other thing. So you can confirm that it backed everything up. And if these emails get annoying at all, just come down to the settings page link and turn off the setting. We're going to pretend that my Discord server got new by some angry person, or you could be using this to clone your Discord into a new server. That works just as well. So I'll click restore backup button. Then I'll click restore backup again. It's going to delete by default all these categories or any channels that were in here. So if you don't want that for some reason, then uncheck this red thing before starting. Now I'll look at my servers under my account. If you don't see the server you want, you should make sure that your account has full administrator permissions in the server and then click refresh servers. Now click submit. I kick the bot so I can show you. I'm going to invite the bot again. So click continue, click authorize. Now click the X button at the top corner of the page of the window or the tab. Click the red X and the restore is beginning. So there we go. I didn't save the file attachments and the attachments a little bit too old, but if you click the save attachment option or you restore the backup within like a day or a couple days of the backup, then it will have the picture there. After the restore is running, you will get an email with the Discord bot invite links. This way you don't have to remember all the Discord bots you had in your server and you can just click these links to add the bot back. And this is the person who invited the bot just so you can check if it's a trustworthy bot you should add again. I'm going to show you how to restore individual member roles, but first, here is an example of the attachments. And so if I open up this attachment and then copy the ID in the attachment link, we can see that belongs to the current channel, which means that this file is saved on our servers, not Discord, and then once it gets sent here, it gets uploaded to Discord. And so it can't expire in between the time and it lasts forever. And you could always contact Valkward support because we keep the file even after 
it's been sent here. Unless if you want, uh, you know, us to delete it for privacy or whatever. And that's an optional setting, of course. Okay, and then for restore member roles, make sure all the members are in the server before you click this button because it's only going to give individual roles to the members that are in the server. So click restore member roles, select the server, and then submit. And we can see that Vault Cord Backups gave the individual roles to the member. All right, the last thing for me to show you are the automatic scheduled backups. So we'll choose the server that we want in here. If you don't see your server or don't see any servers at all, you can click the connect to Discord button. Make sure you have full administrator permission in the Discord server for it to show up in the list here and then click the refresh servers button. And then this will be the interval for how many days, how often it repeats. So click whichever one you would like. Every day is maybe the best, you know, so you don't miss anything in case uh, your server gets raided in between a week, you know, or a month. That's that's not as ideal uh, if you're worried about your server getting hacked. So every day is a very good option. And then you can click submit, then click continue and then authorize. Now click the X button, the red X button at the top of the window or the browser tab. So these options right here is what the scheduled automatic backups do by default. So you'll notice that the individual member roles and the saving files, that stuff takes a little longer and is a little more expensive. So you'll have to manually create a backup if you want to include those things. The automatic backup will not include those options. All right, the schedule is saved. You'll see it in this upcoming scheduled tab right here. So you can just change to that anytime. And then if you want the schedule to stop running, you can click cancel schedule. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out help.valcor.com or click the purple chat bubble. You must be logged in to a Valkord account for this chat to work, but we're very responsive. 20 plus support members of all different time zones checking the chat in here. So that is the best way to ask us any questions. Thank you. Have a good one.